Hello! With Nakivo Backup and Replication, you can back up your data to different clouds, including Amazon EC2, Amazon S3, Wasabi, and Microsoft Azure. In this video, I'll show you how to back up your data to Azure with the Nakivo Backup and Replication Transporter installed on Linux. Let's start by deploying a new virtual machine in Microsoft Azure. To do this, you need to log in to portal.azure.com and create a new virtual machine. Then provide a name for the virtual machine, the region, the VM size, and the operating system. Also, choose the appropriate authentication key option. I'm going to use Use Existing Public Key for authentication. Then click Review plus Create to deploy a new virtual machine in your environment. After the deployment of your virtual machine has been successfully completed, click Go to Resource to review the information about the new VM. The next step is opening the appropriate ports on your virtual machine and attaching a disk which would be used as a backup repository. To open the ports, go to Nakivo Backup and Replication. Click Settings, then Transporters, then Add Existing Transporter as Installed Service. On the page that opens, click More Options. Here you can find information about the transporter port, which is 9446, and the data transfer ports, whose range is between 9448 and 10,000. Now, go back to the Azure environment and click Networking. Then, click Add Inbound Port Rule. On the Add Inbound Security Rule page, as a source of the inboard port rule, I'm going to select the public IP address of the local transport. Then, change the destination port ranges to the ports that are used by the Nakivo Backup and Replication Transporter, 9446, 9448 to 10,000. In the Protocol section, choose TCP. Then, rename your inbound security rule in the Name section. Then, click Add to add another security rule to the list to allow ICMP traffic. Now that the inbound rules have been successfully created, go to Outboard Port Rules and click Add Outboard Port Rules to create an outboard port rule for this virtual machine. As a destination, choose the public IP address of the local transporter. And for the destination port range, I'm going to provide the same ports which are used by the Nakivo transporter, 9446 and 9448 through 10,000. Then modify the protocol again to TCP and change the name of this rule and click Add. The outbound port rule has been successfully created. Now you should add a new disk to the virtual machine. Click Disks, then create and attach a new disk. Now provide a name for the disk, storage type and the size. Next, click Save to add the new disk to the virtual machine. Next, click Overview and copy the public IP address to access the virtual machine's command line interface. In the command line interface, create a partition for your data disk using the parted utility. Then, create a file system for the array and inform the operating system about the partition changes. Next, create the mount point for the new disk and mount the disk device to the share. Now, set the permission for the mount point. When done, go to https colon slash slash www.nakivo.com. Then click Download Free Trial and fill out the form and copy the path to the Linux installer. Next, in the command line interface, upload the product using the WGET utility. When the upload is complete, allow the execution of the installer file. Then I will run the installation and provide the arguments for silent installation and for accepting the end-user license agreement. After the installation is complete, you can add the transporter to the director. Go back to Overview and copy the public IP address. Then go back to Nakivo Backup and Replication and paste the IP address to the host name or IP section and transporter name section. Next, click Add to add the transporter. 
As you can see, the transporter has been successfully added. The next step is to create a backup repository. Click Repositories, Add Backup Repository, Create New Backup Repository. For type, choose Local Folder. Click Next and provide the name of the repository, assign the transporter which is located in Azure, and provide the path to the share. Click Next and Finish to finalize the process. The Azure repository has been successfully created. Now this repository can be used as a target for any backup or backup copy jobs. To store your backups on the Azure Storage Account, deploy that storage account to the same location where the virtual machine and transporter are located. Click Home, Storage, Accounts, Add, and fill out the required information. Click Review and Create, and Create to create the new storage account. Once the storage account has been created, click Go to Resource and navigate to File Shares. Click plus File Share to create a new file share. Provide the name and quota and click Create. Then click the new file share and click Connect. On the Connect page, modify the operating system to Linux and this will display the list of commands which you should run on the virtual machine in Azure. The data will be mapped to this directory. Copy these commands. Then navigate to your virtual machine command line interface, paste those commands, and run. Once done, navigate back to Nikivo Backup and Replication and click Add Backup Repository. Create new backup repository to add a new backup repository. Choose Local Folder for type of repository. In the Name and Location section, assign the same transporter, provide the directory name, and provide the name of the repository. Then click Next and Finish. You've created the backup repository, which is located in the Azure Storage account. This backup repository, just like the previous one, can be easily used as a destination for any backups and backup copy jobs.